What is up, you guys? Hayes Bro here. I am so stoked right now because as of now, late 2019 in my home province of New Brunswick, we're finally allowed to purchase beer in grocery stores. So I'm rolling up at my local Sobeys, gonna go in and see what they've got in stock for Hazy New England IPAs. Here we go. So I walk into Sobeys all pumped about seeing what they've got for their beer selection. There's like some macro beer like Budweiser, Coors Light. Oh, check it out you guys. Beer in grocery store, so cool. Some of that stuff I'm not really into, but whatever does a trick for some people. Walk up to the beer section. Oh, here we go you guys, I found it. And what do I find but the IPAs sitting on shelves no refrigeration whatsoever. So I always bring a thermometer with me when I'm purchasing cans to make sure they're fresh and cold because it's supposed to sit between like 34 to 44 degrees Fahrenheit. I measure these cans, they're sitting at like 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Major faux pas, major slap in the face to these local craft breweries. My boys over at Trailway are getting some mad disrespect because their Hugh John Hops Hazy New England IPA is sitting on a shelf like it's some kind of like macro stout or something like that. Even the folks over with the other IPAs like Red Racer, Pickaroons, maybe Greystone, they might not be the Hazy New England style, but they're still getting some disrespect on that warm shelf. The manager and like another employee come up and they're all like, yo, you're not allowed to film or take photos in our store. I'm the store manager, you work for somebody or? Pardon? Do you work for somebody? So I'm like, I know parkour, peace. I run out of the store. Now I'm sitting here, I'm like, I gotta send them a sternly worded email and correct their misassumptions that IPAs can be stored on warm shelves. So that's what I'm gonna do. Don't forget to smash that like button if you agree. Spread the word about the temperature for beers. Peace. 